Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In my video this week, I'm going to talk about how colors can be linked from an assembly to a presentation file in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to do this using view representations. So let's take a look at how this can be done. Opening up my Inventor assembly, I've got two view representations that I've created. One is just the plain gray that Inventor uses by default. The other, I've added a stained appearance from Inventor's appearance library. It's this later one, the stained appearance, that I'm going to use. Switching to my presentation file, I'm going to go ahead and just create a view. Now before creating the view, I'm going to click on the Options button where I can see what view representations I could go ahead and associate to this view. I could also use positional representations and level of details, but for now, I'm just going to work with the view representation. I've got a pull down where I can choose what view representation I'm going to use, and I'm going to use my stained view representation. I also have a checkbox where I can make that view representation associative. I'm not going to check that this time, and that's important to note. I'll go ahead and hit OK, accept this, and I'll go ahead and place the assembly inside the presentation file and we can see that the colors come across. But now I'm going to switch to the assembly and I'm just going to select a couple of components and very quickly change the color. I'll just choose steel because it's available easy and it looks different. And I can see that the colors are now changed in this view representation. I'll switch back. No change has been made in the presentation file because those view reps are not talking to each other. So that's one effect we can have of not having a view representation associated to the presentation. You can change the colors, but you would have to do them in the presentation separately. And in some ways, maybe that's an advantage that you want, but it is something to bear in mind. Now, let's look at the other side. What happens if I check that box? Starting with an empty presentation file, I'm going to go ahead and create a new view. I'll repeat the steps that I used before. I'll choose Option. I'm going to choose the same stained view representation I chose before, but this time I'll choose the Associative option. Click through OK, and I'll place that view inside my presentation. Now I'll go ahead and I'll switch back to my assembly file and quickly make just a basic change so we can see some differences and then switch back to my presentation file where I can see now the change is indeed associative. It's following what the assembly does. So there it is, how you can take a view representation from an Autodesk Inventor assembly and associate it, or for that matter not associate it, to a presentation file. That's it for this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch.